Right, here's a practical application of the exponential growth. Let's take bacteria. Now, I'm not sure how long it takes bacteria for, to double in number, but let's say it's one minute. Why not? Let's just use one minute, then two minutes, then three minutes. Okay, so, now remember, we're going to use this equation, the exponential growth. This is doubling rate, okay? If things were tripling, I would use this. There you go, I'd use a three. In other words, things were tripling, you know, it... Um, tripled, then tripled again. But anyway, we're just using things that are doubling. Doubling every minute, okay? Right, so the exponential growth of bacteria. So, let's have a look. Now, remember the y and the x-axis, the x and the y-axis, we can name these. So I'm going to call the y-axis the number of bacteria, the number of bacteria increasing as time goes along, okay? So, so we're going to call it x-axis, well, we're going to call it x, but you could call it t for time if you wanted to. Okay, I could write it like this, y equals 2 to the t, as long as I label t for time on the x-axis. Okay, so, let's have a think about this. Now remember, at the start, okay, at the start of time, when we start this, let's say I've got one bacteria. So when t is 0, or when x is 0, here we go, what's 2 to the power 0? Anything to the power 0 is 1, that's why I've got the 1 bacteria at the start. Okay, when t is 0, when x is 0, at the start of time, I've got one bacteria. There we go. 2 to the 0 is 1. Okay, so after one minute, now remember this is, you've already done this once before, and it's in the previous video, but after one minute, so when t or x is 1, after one minute, 2 to the is 2. So after one minute, remember, I've doubled, I've got two bacteria. After two minutes, okay, doubling it again, after two minutes, okay, I will have four bacteria. After three minutes, okay, it's doubled again, two to the power three, I've got eight, okay, two cubed is eight, so that's there. Again, <clears throat> after four minutes, I can only fit so much on here, two to the four is sixteen, I've got, so here's the four, I've got 16 bacteria, which is about there. And finally, after five minutes, okay, I have 32, two to the power of five, two times two times two times two times two is 32, and that's way up here, okay? So remember, ooh, things are starting to go really quickly, okay? So all I've done is go as far as this. After five minutes, we've got 32 bacteria. Guess how much we've got after 10 minutes, okay? I, I can't fit it on this graph, okay? No way I can go way up there, okay? So, after 10 minutes, all right? Two to, what will that be? Okay, after 10 minutes, I've put a 10 there instead, ready? There. I've got 1,024 bacteria, okay? Put it in your calculator. How about after 20 minutes? Ooh, all of a sudden I'm over 1 million bacteria. I keep doubling, that's 20 minutes. Hmm, how about after 30 minutes? Oh, good grief, what's that? Uh, it looks like about over a billion bacteria. Right, here we go, folks. One hour, 60 minutes later, I start with one bacteria, 60 minutes later, after doubling. Oh, okay. look at that. I'm tilting it, I don't know if you need to. I can't even say that. Uh, 606 millions, 504 billions, 900 trillions, and we don't no idea for what this is. There you go. After an hour, that's how many bacteria you will have. Look at the size of that. That's exponential growth.